There's another method of MIDI recording or entry to be more precise, and that's using the step edit and record mode. Now, to do this, you can use either your computer keyboard or a MIDI keyboard. I'm going to demonstrate it with the MIDI keyboard, but it works either way. And what we need to do first is go to the snap area up here and enable this button, step editing mode. So now when we do this, when we hit notes on our keyboard, they're going to be entered as steps, and this is not in real time. So it's important to set your resolution here to what you want. I'm going to go with quarter beat for now. That's fine. And I've loaded in a guitar sound. Let me turn this off, actually, just so I can play it for you and show you what it sounds like. And with this on, there's a couple of short or simple keystrokes to familiarize yourself with, and you'll be good to go. So pressing a note will enter it. Now, if we use the forward slash key, on the numeric keypad, that will step back and allow us to replace a note that was recorded incorrectly or captured incorrectly. And we can use the star key next to it at the top of the numeric keypad to skip ahead a step. So you can leave rests or spaces that way. And if you want to sustain a note, what you need to do is hold your note down on the keyboard, either MIDI or QWERTY, and then press the star key repeatedly to keep extending it. A step length. So those are really the only commands you need to know. So this little thing I have here is sort of in G minor, so I'm going to try and enter some parts. So first thing is to create a new pattern. Let's name it. That'll do. And let's enter some notes. I'll hit the star key for a space. I've made some spaces there, and I'm going to press one key down and hold it and press the star a few times to extend it. And then another one, space. And I'm extending it a bit here to a two bar pattern. A couple more spaces so it's syncopated. Okay, let's say I'm going to back up. I want to replace that note. I'm going to hit the forward slash and I can replay it. There you go. And you can see it all being done here in a kind of miniature view. Skip a space and I'll do another long note. Okay, so let's see what we have here. I'm going to take it out of step mode and let's just paint it in and let's see what it sounds like. And I'll go into song mode here. All right, that's not bad. And if I want to edit it, of course, I can just simply click here and I've got my piano roll editor and I can change any of the pitches or note lengths if I want to customize them. You want to make some really short. Let's see what that sounds like just randomly like that. And then of course I can put it in again, maybe starting on a different beat later on. So you get the idea, step entry. It's a very cool method for, on one hand, coming up with some nice random ideas as long as you stick to the notes in your key, and also for entering parts that are fast and difficult to play live. So step entry, explore it, and have fun. See you for more in the next video.